Hello and welcome to Pavli Connect. So in this video, we will see how to set up Zoom Trigger in Pavli Connect. So guys, using Zoom Trigger, as you all know, you can get the data from your Zoom account in Pavli Connect immediately, instantly on the happening of that event. So how you can set up these triggers in Pavli Connect? Let's see. So I have created a workflow named as Zoom Trigger Setup. Let's start with our trigger window. And here in Choose App, we have to search for Zoom Trigger. So select Zoom Triggers over here. After selecting it in Trigger Event from the drop-down, select Configure Webhook. Click on Connect and select Add New Connection. Now here guys, we have to connect our Zoom account with Pavli Connect. And to make this connection, first we have to build an app inside our Zoom account. Don't worry guys, it is a very simple process. All you have to do is just follow the help text given below over here. Just go to your Zoom account and from the left side, just scroll down and you will see your option named as Advanced. Just click on Advance and under it, click on App Marketplace. Now you can see we have reached to Zoom App Marketplace. Here on the right side, you can see an option of Develop. Just hover on it and under it, click on Build App. And here we have started the app building process of Zoom. So first we have to select the type of the app, that what kind of app we are building. So here in this type section, we have to create a webhook only app. So here under webhook only, just click on create button and then just give your application a name. For example, I would like to name it as demo for now. You can basically give any name to your app and then just click on create. After this, here we have to enter some basic details. For example, company name. So let me enter a company name and the developer's contact information. So these are some dummy details. And after entering these details, what you have to do, you just have to click on continue over here. Then after that, here you can see we have successfully created this app. And when you will read through this help text, the last help text says navigate to feature section and copy the secret token. So after creating this app, here we can see the secret token of our app. We just have to copy the secret token from here, go to public connect and paste it over here. And after pasting the secret token, click on save. Now here guys, we have successfully connected our Zoom account with Pavli Connect. And after making this connection, Pavli Connect gave us a Facebook URL. Now we have successfully built the app, but what this app is going to do? We have to basically create an event subscription in this app that on happening of what event we want Zoom to send data to Pavli Connect. So let's start this setup. First, turn on this event subscription button on and then click on this add event subscription button. Then give this subscription a name, for example, test1. I have given this name and then here it is asking us event notification endpoint URL. Now here in this endpoint URL section, guys, you have to actually paste the same URL which Pavli Connect gave us. Just copy this webhook URL from here. Go to Zoom account and here in this event notification endpoint URL section, paste it over here. After pasting this URL, we also have to validate this same URL by clicking on this validate button. But before that, here in our Pavli Connect account, you can see an option of save and send test request. You just have to click on this option of save and send test request and now it has changed to waiting for response. And after this, go back to your Zoom app marketplace and click on this validate button. And now we will see this webhook URL which we have added is now validated. Now after validating this webhook URL, validating this connection, the next thing we have to select is the event. That for what event we want Zoom to send data. Just click on this add event button and here you can see a list of different events in our Zoom account. So let's take an example of meeting. So I want to set up that whenever a new meeting is created in my Zoom account, I want to get the data in public connect. Just for an example. So here in event type, we are going to select meeting and select the event. Meeting has been created. You can basically select any event you want according to your use case, according to your requirement. And then just click on done. Click on save and click on continue. So in this way, we have successfully connected our Zoom account with Pavli Connect. We built an app, a webhook only app in our Zoom account. We have connected that app with Pavli Connect and also we have added the webhook URL to instantly get the notification and validated the URL. Now after this guys, here Pavli Connect is still showing us waiting for response. This means Pavli Connect is waiting to get some data, some response of Zoom for the event for which we have created this app. So here guys, in our Zoom account, we are going to create a new meeting. So for that, we have added this webhook URL. Click on the schedule a meeting button. Give this meeting a name, for example, test meeting. 
let's change the date and time so the date of the meeting is 13th of december and time is for example 11 am the duration of this meeting is for example 30 minutes and then let's change or keep the details same other details are same and click on save so as we click on save we will see just now we have created a new meeting in our zoom account the name of the meeting is test meeting and this is the date and time 13th of december 2022 11 am and we will see as this meeting is created instantly the details of this meeting newly created meeting will be captured inside Pabli connect and yes here in our Pabli connect trigger window we can see we have received some response and in this response you can see the details of the same meeting we have the same name of the meeting the test meeting which we have given then we have the same start date and time so we have the start date as 13th of december 2022 and time is 5 30 a.m now the time is basically in utc time format that is why you can see 5 30 a.m over here instead of the time of 11 a.m so in utc time zone this this uh, 11 a.m is basically 5 30 a.m now after this when you will scroll down you can see other details of the meeting as well so in this way guys we saw in this video that how you can set up zoom trigger inside powerfully connect so if you have any kind of doubts or queries you can write us in the comment box below and also on our forum so that's it for today's video thank you have a great day